here every day. Which they were. Okay, you gotta get off that phone, man. <laughs> Holy cow! I mean, really? <laughs> put fifty dollars in the pot. <laughs> we'll, we'll get together, and have a beer later, and it'll be on him. All right. All right. Uh, back at work. Back. Back. Uh, back in pads, and uh, it was great to see you know Bruce out and Mario out. So I guess the answer the other day you asked me about Coop was yes. But, uh, there you go. Uh, no, it was good Good practice, working some situations. I think you saw that. So moving the ball, a little bit of two minutes. Um, you know, things that we'll hit on throughout camp. But uh, uh, much, much better day today. I uh, thought coming coming back from a off day, I thought the guys uh, were focused, zeroed in, and, and a whole, whole lot better. So that's the way we need to work. Uh, we're going to be a good football team. So questions? How much of that in terms of what you saw on the field on Tuesday was a bit sloppier? And today, after a break, a little bit more crisp. How much of that is the process of guys getting into football shape? Yeah, that's there are a lot of there are a lot of different things you could talk about, but to me, it's what we want to see, you know, and just pushing forward, being um, being sure that we've set a a standard. And we're going to come out here and 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 look to you know put in really good work to become a really good football team, and uh, so much better today. See the defense making some plays, forcing a couple turnovers. Yeah. Is that nice? I mean, obviously you want to see a little bit of both sides making plays, yeah. but it's nice to kind of see the, the defense push back. Training camp, training camp football. Uh, you know, you're gonna one side or the other when you're a team. The Raiders are gonna be, you know, good either way. Okay, but yeah, it's good to see. Um, you know, we've got an offense that's probably uh, ahead in terms of cohesiveness and healthy players out there, um, but. I think our defense is going to be pretty good this year. And uh, I think you're seeing some of those signs. And um, so there are a lot of positives uh, in between. And, um, and to me, I like, I like the way the group's working. You know, the, there's good competition, but we're, we're, we're learning how to practice against each other. And it's, it's tough because, you, you know, you don't play the Raiders on Sunday. So you, but there's a lot of work you got to get in, a lot of, a lot of things that need to be sorted out. So. You have to challenge each other. You have to compete at the highest level. Yet, pull back, take care of your teammates. Coach, to gauge where you are, do you gauge yourself based on where this team was at this point last season, or is it no? Way no, no. I, I come out. I come out every day and try and get everything I can out of our guys, and then we'll go in and recover, and then come back and do it again tomorrow, and and that gives us a chance to grow. So it's a process, you know. You, it's like climbing a climbing a mountain. Uh, a lot of lot of. A lot of different ways it's been described. You know, when you start a season, you start out at the bo bottom of a mountain. It's the beginning of a marathon race. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a long climb. It's a long race, okay? And we just have to be um, a team that comes out and takes care of business consistently, day in and day out. And that's how you really make growth. Uh, that's how you really make progress. And, um, you know, those are the types of things that we're, we're striving to, to have happen here. What's the disposition as it sits now with tackle rotation reps? It seems like certain guys who might just work with the ones are working with the threes. So the guys might be just working with the twos, working with the threes, and to fill out the reps at that spot given the situation. And I've adjusted and cut out some of the third team reps where they're maybe it was a little short where the second guy is going to take the second and the third group. So, yeah, we're managing that the best we can. Um, and this is a time of year when you can – can really do that and what we're able to do right now is look at a lot of different combinations which helps our our depth develop and our, our versatility of guys being able to cross train different positions that's that's all part of what we're doing right now yeah yeah Corey. well he's played he's played the two inside spots whether it's mike or will he's played both of those spots uh all of last year and all throughout the the uh, spring, so yeah, it's not it's not really anything unusual for him. He's he's been repping at it. He's gonna he's learns both. He knows both. I, I like Corey. I like Corey's be better at one or the other. Uh, I like the way he's developing. You know, he was a guy that in college played all over the place and played on the end of the line a lot, and so he's really learning how to be an inside linebacker and the reads and the and the keys and the fundamentals to play that position. So I, I think he's doing a nice job with his development there.
What do you think about this this group of uh, tight ends? And it seems like you have some uh, comp uh, complementary talents there, guys that can do different things yep. well. Like, what do you think about the group as a whole? And do you, do you anticipate them being maybe more active in the passing game than in the past? Well, certainly, uh, I feel like the tight end position uh, for the first couple of years, we've had a hard time slowing down the other guys' tight end, and then we haven't really got our tight end position going as much as I'd like. I think. I think we've really addressed that. I think, I think you're going to see a team that uh, can utilize the tight end position more off in their offensive plan and the attack. I think uh, Jared Cook opens up a lot of possibilities, and Clyde being in much better shape and healthier than he's been probably in a while helps. Um, and, then, and then, you know, adding a guy like Obi to the mix and the way the length he has and his ability to cover, um, we feel like. You know, we now have a weapon at tight end as well, and we have a guy that can help us cover those tight ends a little bit. So, um, so that's, I mean, that's what you're trying to do is grow as a team, become a little better as a team. I, th I feel like that's an area we've addressed. Elijah, if I see that guy, if you get a little bit more physical with practice, that suits his running style. What do you see out of him so far? Um, did you say Marshawn? Elijah, Elijah Hood. Oh, Elijah. Uh, yeah, no, he's, I mean, he's, he's a young man that, Gives everything he has. He's a bright guy. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, he'll learn to get behind his pads a little bit, but he should be a physical player. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll see. It's early in camp, but did some good things. Any uh, early impressions of EJ or Connor so far? Um, I think both guys are developing. Um, it's a really good competition. You know, I think our offensive staff's done a, done a, a real good job of kind of managing that whole process. Um, you know, I mean, there's really nothing to report on it right now. They're both they're both getting a lot of reps and alternating who's with the twos and who's with the threes. And obviously, at, at some point, we'll need to settle on that. But right now, we're just sharing the work, and I think I think they're both doing well. I think they're you know, both both showing signs of doing the things that we need them to do. You've talked a bit in the past about David Sharp's athleticism. He exited briefly today, re-entered, you know, toughed out, yeah. or something. Is that good to see? You talked about waiting until pads come on to see that from a young player. No question. Because when you're in the trenches, you're going to have some bumps and bruises. That's that's part of playing, you know, in the National Football League. And um, so, yeah, it was good to see. You know, he, he bounced bounced back and was able to finish and get some good some good work in right there at the end. So, definitely happy to see that. That's good. All right. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.